Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to work with worksheets and chart sheets in Excel. So let's get started. Here I have a workbook which has one worksheet here, sheet 1. Let me rename this to movies and then I can insert more worksheets. I can click on this plus icon and it would insert a worksheet or I can right click and go to insert and you can see that we can insert either a worksheet or a chart sheet. We can also insert macro 4 or international macro sheets but I would be focusing on these two things here in this video. So to insert a chart sheet if I click on it and I click OK you can see that it has inserted a chart sheet with the name chart 1 and this sheet is primarily the one to hold charts and it would have one single chart and then the user can take a printout and read that chart. So let's get into the VB editor mode I would press Alt F11 now here I would insert a module so I would right click on any of these sheet objects and I would insert module and here let's start a sub say refer sheets and what we are trying to do here is we are trying to refer to different sheets using VBA so here as of now I am on movies but I want to select sheet 1 so to do that I would use worksheets collection and worksheets collection holds all the worksheets of this workbook. Similarly there is a charts collection that would hold all the chart sheets and then there is a sheets collection that would hold both chart sheets and worksheets. Uh, so let's first go through worksheets collection. I would type the name sheet 1 and then I would activate it and now when I run this see here as of now we are on the movies tab and now when I run this it selects sheet 1 similarly if I want to go to movies again then I can simply type movies here you can also use select instead of activate here so again let me select movies go back to the editor and now when I run this again the same thing happens so select and activate are almost interchangeable except for when you want to select more than one sheet so in this case say for example I have uh, this selected I select this and then I type worksheets movies dot select now let's first go through this step by step so let me press F8 to step into this macro uh, let me first activate this one and now let's step through this I press F8 F8 and now when I press F8 see what happens this sheet gets activated or selected and then when I press F8 again it comes back to movies but here if I add false and do this again see what happens I press F8 F8 this gets activated and now when I press F8 this is also selected you can see that this is now in the group mode which means that now both of these sheets are selected and now if I do anything in say sheet 1 it would automatically happen in movies sheet as well so if you want to select more than one sheet say you want to select a couple of sheets and delete them all together then you can use this technique but otherwise activate and select are almost the same and uh, you would also remember from one of the previous videos I explained that it is not a very efficient way to actually use select or activate there may be cases where you want to first show the sheet and then uh, want some operation to happen on it using the code but otherwise you can skip select or activate you can uh, directly do what you want to do without selecting it so let's delete this now similarly uh, you can also use charts collection so say for example here if I type charts and here I type chart 1 then when I run this code when I come here and run this code chart 1 sheet gets selected so you can use worksheets collection to refer to sheets you can use charts collection to refer to charts or you can use the sheets collection so sheets collection would have both charts as well as worksheets so in this case I can select a chart sheet as well sorry and I can select a worksheet as well so if I use sheets here and I say movies dot select then I can press F8 let me first select sheet 1 here and then go through the code so I press F8 it selects the chart sheet and then I press F8 again and it selects the movies sheet because sheets collection contains both chart sheets and uh, worksheets. Uh, 
I would advise you to use worksheets and chart sheets collection separately because in that case there is no confusion but again it's completely up to you what collection you want to use. Now you may notice that here the name is movies and also see here if you go to this sheet here it says sheet 1 and within bracket we have movies. Say if I uh, change this name to test then see what happens I go back here and the name of sheet 3 is test the problem here is that if in case I change the name here so earlier it was sheet 1 and I had sheet 1 in my code now this would give me an error so for example here if I come and I refer to sheet 1 which is this sheet then let's run this code and see what happens I run it and it gives me an error subscript out of range the problem here is that this name does not exist and this could be a problem because a user may change the name and then your code may be redundant your code may not work so we have to find another way of using something else where it's not dependent on the name now one of the ways to handle this could be using index numbers so for example if I use worksheets collection I can use an index number 1 and if I select this what this would do is 1 refers to the leftmost sheet of that collection so in this case it would mean that it would refer to movies sheet and let's say what happens when we uh, run this code the movies sheet gets selected because it is the leftmost uh, sheet of this collection if I make this 2 then this test sheet would get selected because it is the second sheet in the worksheets collection the problem here is that if I move this as a user if I move this and now if you run this code then it would select test sheet because now test is the leftmost worksheet so this is again something which is okay but you cannot be 100% sure that this would work the user may move the sheets so here is the best way to do this you click on the sheet here say movies and here you would notice that there are two names one is sheet 1 which is the code name and one is the name here which is something that is given by the user now you can change this but you cannot change this from excel worksheet uh, excel workbook so for example if I change this name this would get changed but not this so what we would do is we would name this say for example we name this movies now what we can do is you you would see here that it shows movies here what we can do is instead of going through the pain of writing worksheets and movies within double quotes you can directly type the name movies and it would qualify as the worksheet this name would now refer to the movies worksheet and see how it works uh, let's select the test is already selected let's click on it and as soon as you do this it selects movies now there is absolutely no way anything wrong can happen so for example here if I change this name to movie list and I come to test sheet and I again execute this code it would still go to this worksheet which means no matter what the name is here it would still refer to this sheet so this is a better way of referring to worksheets and chart sheets so that you can name these and then you don't need to uh, use uh, the qualifier like worksheets and within double quotes, double quotes you need to put the name so this is one excellent way of doing this another important thing to note here in the properties window is that you have this option of visible and if you click on this it, sh it says Excel sheet visible which means that the user can see it Excel sheet hidden which means that the user cannot see it so for example if I select hidden that sheet is hidden but the user can unhide it if he unhides it he would see the name here and he can click OK but if you select the third option which is very hidden Excel sheet very hidden then the user cannot unhide it the user have to has to know that he needs to come back to VB editor and then unhide it but if he comes here he would not find any option to unhide because he cannot do it from here so if you want to hide sheets or don't want users to change anything go for very hidden otherwise you can simply go for uh, hidden sheets let me unhide the sheet Oh, I need to select the movies sheet and then unhide it. Alright, 
Now let's see how we can add new worksheets in a workbook. So to do that we've already seen in one of the previous videos that we can use worksheets dot add. Now if you use this uh, this line of code then what whichever is the active sheet it would insert a sheet on the left of the active sheet. So for example in this case if I execute this simple code here and I run it you can see that it has inserted sheet 2 here which is on the left of the active sheet which was test 1 and now it inserts this and this becomes the active sheet so this is one way you can add uh, a worksheet but what if you don't want this worksheet to be added to the left of active sheet what if you want it to be uh, the first worksheet or maybe you wanted to uh, get this added on the left of movie list worksheet in that case you can simply press spacebar and then you would see these options which is before after count and type now uh, let's go through these options in detail uh, in case you are working with this and you get stuck say for example you don't understand what before and after and count and type means what you can do is you can go to the object browser and within object browser simply type select excel here and type worksheets within worksheets you have add here member and you right click and go to help and when you do this it would open the help in uh, in the browser so you if you're using Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox then in your default browser it would open the help in this case it has opened worksheets dot add method and I can see that these were the names that were coming up before after count and type now before means that you can specify you want it to be added before a specific worksheet similarly you can specify that you want the new worksheet to be added after the specified worksheet you can also specify the number of counts you want and you can also specify the type so you may want it to be a worksheet or a chart sheet or a macro sheet or an international macro sheet uh, so you can use these now let's go back and see how it works let me close the object browser here let's say I want to add this on the left of movie list sheet so now I would press oops let me press alt f11 so here as soon as I press the space character it gives me these options before after count and type now one of the options is I simply just give the name here when it's on the before this before option is uh, in the bold format so for example I can here type work sheets and then I can type the name or I can simply say movies because movies is the worksheet and here now if I run this then it inserts the new sheet on the left of movie list I've used movies here because movies is the code name that I've given to the sheet you can also use worksheets and within double quotes you can write movie list now it's okay you have it here on the left but what about other options so let's go through this what if I want a sheet to be added to the right of movie list in that case if you press a comma here it goes to after and then you can type movies and let's see what happens when I run this code a new sheet is added after movies list but the problem here is say if I keep on adding these commas it becomes a bit difficult say for example I want to add two new worksheets so I would have to type comma comma and then I would have to type the count which would be 2 now as soon as I press this and see here we have 3 4 5 6 6 worksheets and as soon as I click two new worksheets are added so you can use this but this becomes a bit confusing because you have these commas and and this does not look good so a better idea is to type the name in this case I want to use the count property so I would type count colon equal to and now I would type two here now this would do the same thing but here if I read this it's easier to understand I'm adding worksheets and the total number of count of it is two now if I run this code automatically it inserts two sheets here similarly you can use other variables as well you can have before or after obviously you can use only one of it and then you have count and then you can have type so you can specify the number of the number of worksheets you want you want a worksheet or a chart sheet in this case it can only be a worksheet but if you're using sheets collection then you can add either a chart sheet or a worksheet now what if you want a, a worksheet to be added always added to the end of this list so for example in this case oops, 
let me minimize this in this case I have so many sheets here and this is the last sheet what if you all want it to be at the end of this sheet so I always I'm adding a lot of worksheets but I want it to be at the end of the last available sheet here so to do that here now we can use the index property so what happens is here I have worksheets dot add and now what I would use is I would say after and now I would use work sorry sheets sheets and here I would use a property sheets count and what I'm doing is I'm asking this to add a worksheet after the last sheet sheets dot count would give me the total number of sheets here then I've specified that would be my index number and that would be the last sheet it refers to and then it would add a worksheet after that let's see what happens when I run this code so let me pull it here sheet 4 is the last, last sheet and when I run this me step through this f8 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 it adds a worksheet here at the end now if I run this again it would add a worksheet after it so I can go to the right now let's try this again let me run this code again I run this code and it has added sheet 10 here so no matter how many sheets are there no matter what happens it would always add a sheet at the end if I use this index property now as we have added sheets we can also delete sheets now if you want to delete a specific sheet then you need to qualify it so for example in this case if I want to delete say sheet 10 sheet 10 then I would say sheets worksheets sheet 10 dot delete and here if I run this it says you cannot undo deleting sheets and you might be removing some data if you don't need it click delete and as soon as I delete this that sheet is gone but the problem here is that again and again I would have to go through uh, this ordeal of, of having this pop up and then saying no so what I can do is I can close these alerts so what I would do is first I would switch off this alert display I would say application display alerts and display alerts if you put it if you make it false then it would not show you any alerts it would simply delete this and there would be no alert but I don't want to keep it that way because I may want this in other cases say for example I'm deleting some worksheets in some other case I don't want it to not show me an alert it's an important thing so I can again switch it on so I can say application dot oops display alerts is equal to true now if I again delete any sheet say I'm deleting sheet 9 here and I click this that sheet is gone and see here I have the sheet 9 here is gone let's delete say sheet 8 and now when I click this sheet 8 is gone so in these cases if you are deleting sheets and you do not want an alert then you can switch off alert by first making it false and then turn it on by making it true now let's see how we can copy a worksheet so uh, for example if I want to copy a movies worksheet I can directly type movies and then I can use copy here now if I simply leave it this way and I run this code what would happen is it would open a new workbook and it will copy that worksheet in the new workbook so for example here in this case if I don't don't mention where I want this copied and I simply run this it opens a new workbook you can see it's book one and it has copied movie list in a new workbook but I don't want this I want it to be copied somewhere in the workbook where I was working so let me close this and let me come here what I would need to do is I would have to tell uh, Excel VBA where I want this I want it before a worksheet or I want it after a worksheet again the same way where we inserted and we mentioned where if we want it before or after let's say I want it uh, after sheet 4 so what I would do is I would simply mention after worksheets sheet 4 and now when I run this 
I have a copy you can see there is two in bracket which means that there's this is a copy and this is after sheet 4 similarly you can also mention if you want it before a sheet so you can instead of after you can use before here similarly you can also move worksheets and again use the same methodology of before and after so for example if I use move and then press and uh, press spacebar then again it asks before or after and again if I don't provide this it will open a new workbook and put it there but I can specify whether I want it before a worksheet or after a worksheet similarly you can rename a workbook and for example in this case if I say movies rename is equal to uh, say test 100 then it would rename but it would not rename the code name it would rename what you see here so if I run this oops it gives me uh, an error oh my bad it's it will not be rename it will be name here so I can name this and when I click it you can see that now movies tab has been renamed as test 100 but it will not change the code name so you can always use the code name when, when you're working with worksheets and you have to refer and add and delete and move a lot of worksheets then code name is the way to go you can also hide worksheets we've already seen how to hide worksheets using the properties window but if you want to hide a particular worksheet using the code you can use the visible property and you can set it to false here and if I do that then when I run this code you can see that this worksheet test 100 has been hidden the movies worksheet has been hidden and if I make this true then it would unhide this worksheet so you can also use VBA coding to hide and unhide worksheets so there are a lot of things that you can do with the sheets collection worksheet and chart sheet collection uh, you can add you can decide where to add it you can use the code name if you are working with a lot of sheets and if you think that the user might change the name uh, you can move these sheets copy these sheets you can delete it hide it and uh, do a lot of things so that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day